In this video, you're gonna learn how to find that particular term in an arithmetic sequence. We're gonna go through two examples together, so let's dive in. So the first example here, we've got 11, seven, three, negative one, dot, dot, dot. So what's the pattern here? What are you noticing? How are we getting from this first term to this next term, et cetera? Well, you might notice that we're subtracting four each time to get to the next term. So when you're adding or subtracting the same number each time, that's called an arithmetic sequence. If you're multiplying or dividing by the same thing each time, that's a geometric sequence. But in this lesson, we're gonna talk about just uh, arithmetic sequences. And I wanna tell you a little bit about the notation real quick. This first term, we call this n equals one. The second term, we say n equals two, n equals three, et cetera. But the value of the term, like what the term actually equals, we call that a sub one, like subscript one. This is a sub two, like the second uh, term's value, right? A sub three, et cetera. So what we're doing here now, let's just say we wanted to find the fifth term. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now you might be saying, Mario, I can just subtract four and I can find that term, right? But what happens if you wanna find the hundredth term or the thousandth term? You wouldn't wanna keep subtracting four you know, forever and ever until you get to that term. So we're gonna look for a, a pattern here. And so here's the pattern that I want you to kind of be aware of. We're starting at this first term, okay, which is 11. And we're subtracting four once, twice, three times, four times to get to the fifth term. Now, why only four times? Well, because we're already at the first term. So to get to the fifth term, we only have to subtract four four times. And so that's where this formula comes from. We're starting at the first term, and then D represents the common difference, like what, in this case, what we're doing to get to the next term. In this case, we're subtracting four, but it's N minus one times, one less time than the term that you want, because you already know what that first term is. You're already at that first term. So what we can do here is write a little formula, and we can see that uh, A sub N, the value of the nth term, is gonna equal the first term, which is 11, plus our common difference, which is a negative four, n minus one times. Now we can simplify a little bit by distributing this negative four into the parentheses. Negative times a negative gives us a positive four. And then combine like terms. So 11 plus four is 15 minus four n. And this is what we call an explicit formula, meaning it takes us right to whatever term we want. If we want the hundredth term, we just put a hundred in for n. In this case, let's say we want to find the fifth term, we've got a sub five equals 15 minus four times five, that's 15 minus 20, which is negative five, which we knew that it, this was negative five because we recognized that we were subtracting four each time. But say if we wanted to find like A sub 15, like the value of the 15th term. So here we would say, all right, it's gonna be 15 minus four times 15, okay? So that comes out to 15 minus 60, which is negative 45. So you can see this really saves us a lot of time from having to subtract four until we finally get to that 15th term. Let's take a look at another example. If you wanna try this one, go ahead and try it on your own. What's the pattern here? How are we getting from negative six to one or one to eight or eight to 15? Well, if you said that we're adding seven each time, you're exactly right, and that's what's called our common difference or our D value. Now, the reason they call it the difference is because if you do one minus negative six, you get seven, or eight minus one, see subtraction or minus, that's, that's the difference, right? So here we wanna find the value of the hundredth term. Let's see if we can write a formula first to find any term. So we're gonna start with our first term, which is negative six. We're gonna add our common difference, which is seven, n minus one times. Again, why n minus one? Because we're already at the first term negative six, so we just have to add seven one less time to get to the term that we want. So let's simplify a little bit here. Let's distribute. This gives us seven n minus seven, and that's gonna be seven n minus 13 if we combine the negative six and negative seven. And this is a formula or a rule or um, an explicit formula that will take us right to whatever the nth term is. In this case, we want to find the hundredth term. So we're just going to put 100 in for n. So a sub 100 equals seven times 100 uh, minus 13. So 700 minus 13 is 687. And you got it. So 
Great job if you were able to follow these examples. If you want to learn more about sequences and series, not just arithmetic, but also geometric, I do a deep dive in this video right there. So follow me over to that video and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over there.